Hello everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it is so nice to meet you. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I make the animations for my YouTube channel using Canva. I have had a couple of people request this, so I hope that you find it helpful. It's super, super easy, but I wanted to put it together in a video for you guys anyway, just to kind of give you guys a basic run through of how I do it and what I like to make as animations. So if you guys are new here and have not already, I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. This is what my screen looks like right now. I like to pull up a page that is, oh there's a mouse, sorry. I like to pull up a page that is the size of my editing screen, so the size of my video. So if I click here it says resize. When you're first creating it you want to make your overall thing 1920 by 1080 pixels because that is the aspect ratio for a YouTube video. So that's the best option. You can only resize videos if you have a I mean you can only resize the page if you have a pro subscription once you've already started creating so I would recommend just starting off with that size that is where we're starting so the first thing that I do whenever I'm making an animation is determine whether it's going to be words on a screen or if it's gonna take up the entire screen so since this is the entire screen I okay let's say I want to say welcome to this video I'm gonna click on the background screen and I'm going to make it green because I'm gonna use a green screen on this so that the words show up. I just click on green and then literally make it as far over as it can go. Um, if you guys want to write down this code, this is the color green that I use for my green screens. Um, I find it to be the most helpful on this one, but I like to use the green screen. So the first thing that I would do is add some words. So I go to text and click on add heading. I'm going to say, well, oh, oh, welcome to my channel. I would update it however I want to choose a fun font um, and then figure out where on the screen I want it to be. Normally my welcome goes like over over here in the corner so I would want it to be on the bottom of my screen then I come up here so there's text and size color bold italics um, underline uppercase alignment list spacing effects and animate so you're gonna click on animate and my personal favorite is pop so if I do this click on, let me go back to it pop and I say on exit, whenever it plays, it's gonna look like this. So it popped onto the screen and now it's gonna pop off the screen. I like to do it as a pop on and off the screen. And when you're on this page, you can choose how long you want it to last. So if I wanted it to be, um, let's see, three seconds, if I wanted this animation to last a shorter amount of time, I'm gonna click on both. We're gonna play. Popped on pops off and it's only three seconds long. So you can choose how long you want the video to be up here. So if you want it to last 30 seconds, you can. I think five seconds is a good sweet spot for animations when they're on the screen because they're not on there too long to be distracting, but they're also long enough that the viewer has time to see it. Three to five seconds. I feel like anything shorter would be too short. The in and out animation would be running into each other, but if it was longer, it would be distracting. Okay, so that's how I would make a word animation. I would just figure out where I want it to be on the screen in relation to my video and then put it there. So that's pretty basic. You can do the same thing with photos. So if I selected a random photo and I wanted it to pop onto the screen on this side, I would just click on animate, choose the animation that I want, and I would probably choose animate both. There are a couple of different options that you can use. I know that on the animations, there are some that are pro only, and I'm not entirely sure what those are because I do not... I have the pro version, so it's not showing me which ones are not pro, but there are lots of different options. You can choose scale of breathing, photo zoom, popping, whatever. The animations are different based on the element that you have on the screen. So if you have text on the screen, it's gonna be different than what your photo options are. And you can also choose to animate the entire page. So if I click on page animations and click on rise, everything will rise. Everything will do the breathe. Everything will do the block. So if I have more than one thing on the screen, so let's put something else on here. I'm just gonna put a square on here for the sake of it. That's really hard to see. Let me change the color. Okay, so if I click on this and click on animate, I can do a pan and if we play, it'll only move that one image that I chose to add the animation to. You can obviously choose to animate the other option. So they'll do it separate from each other or you can do this and it will replace the individual elements and do everything all at one time. So that is also an option. You can also obviously do a full screen kind of animation. So cover the whole page and something can animate on top. I prefer to do a green screen. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how I made my subscribe button. So I'm just using this basic rectangle. I'm turning it white and I'm gonna make it whatever size 
and then come over here to text and I'll just write subscribe and let's see I want it to be a different font if it will let me move it so I have it over here and I am selecting both of these items so I'm selecting the words and pressing command nope pressing control nope it's shift sorry shift and select both things and I group them together so that whenever I animate they will do the exact same thing at the exact same time so it won't be like the box and then the words it'll be box and words at the same time so pop stomp see how it came like together and then there it is um super super basic it does not require like any kind of extra stuff whenever I made the animation at the beginning of my video that has that has my intro I just wrote Hunter Merc and I chose the effect the animate I chose I think block I did block and I saved I downloaded this video and then I re I'll just show you I did this so let me play animation so then I'll share download so we have that as basic as it gets so then I take this I remove the animation and then I add more text I did lifestyle coffee and books obviously I'm gonna change the way this looks to something different this is obviously just a sample so this is not like a final product so I have this and I want this animation to be different so animate there we go and then I will download this version and then you can go into your photo editor we'll take these two files that I just created so the first one looks like this and the second one looks like that. As you can see, the second animation went right after the second, the first one, but I want it to be right after my name goes through, so. Sort of looks like this. See how it went two at a time? You just edit it like that, and then you export it like you would your normal videos, and it will export as a green screen. Now, to do green screen, you would just come over here to the side. This is Final Cut Pro, so if you don't have Final Cut Pro, this isn't going to work for you. But come over to where you have your video effects, and if you click on keying and click on keyer, you can drop it over top of here, and it gets rid of the green. So if I had a color behind it, it would show through. So that is how I make my intro in all of my animations. That is pretty much everything that I do literally took so quick it's like so simple but it just takes like actually knowing that it's there because I didn't know it was there for a long time but go ahead and end my screen recording so that is all I have for today's video if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already and I will see you guys in my next video bye